Praise the Lord, everyone. Happy Monday and welcome to this time of prayer and devotion as we start off a brand new week uh, going into the Thanksgiving holiday. Certainly our hearts and minds are reflecting on the goodness of God. Yesterday we had a powerful worship service at Greater Vision uh, here in Puxico. Um, the power of God just swept through during the worship service and during prayer time. And uh, two of our men testified of coming into service in intense pain, and the pain left them instantly uh, as they had prayer and as they were participating in the worship service. So we give God glory and praise for that wonderful move of His Spirit yesterday and uh, just giving thanks for what God is doing. Cheryl reported on Friday to our prayer, prayer group that her uncle it turns out will not need a knee replacement as previously thought. He just had some inflammation behind the knee and they were able to treat that with medication. So thank the Lord for these answers to prayer. And we're believing him and trusting him for many situations this morning. Uh, praying for peace and comfort for our prayer partner, Kristen and her family as her Aunt Jean passed away last Thursday night. We have unspoken requests for the Cummins family. Uh, they're needing God to intervene in a family situation. We're also praying for unspoken needs for Venus's daughters, uh, Judy's family, Johnny's family, uh, Jessica O'Hara and her family, Tracy Powers, and the Pulliam family. Uh, we're praying for healing for those who are battling diabetes and heart issues, those with liver problems, uh, praying for those with MS, um, Tracy Powers uh, has MS and also um, needs her home to sell as her daily commute is long and uh, really is taxing on her overall health situation. So let's pray for her in that area as well. Uh, let's lift up those who are battling dementia, those who suffer with uh, migraine headaches and chronic headaches of different types, uh, those battling the shingles virus. Um, those with lung issues, uh, we're seeing an increase in respiratory problems uh, as we get into the winter season with all the weather changes going on. Uh, pray for those who are battling cancer. Lynn Lawrence uh, just found out that he has bone cancer. He's only been given a few months to live. Uh, Marsha Moore's co-worker's aunt started chemotherapy recently. Marsha wants us to pray for her and also pray for her salvation. Murphy Bellgard. Uh, I believe this is Pastor Marty DeLotte's father-in-law, um, has cancer that has spread all over his body. Uh, he needs a miracle. Linda Young needs a miracle healing. Rebecca Peterson and Kenny Burns, uh, other names that have been recently added to our list of battling cancer. Also pray for Amy Dees, Cheryl, Diane Escher, Heather, Dennis Phelps, Sherry, Dwayne Lewis, Claire, Alice, Scott Lucia, Michelle Strain, sister Cindy, Marcia's friend's grandparent, Daniel Dickinson, Valerie, Kristen's friend Betty, Ari Bowers, Jamie Joe's grandfather, Gladys Sims, Jordan, uh, going through chemo, Julia Nelson, started chemo recently. Uh, also praying for Darla and Virginia, who thankfully are cancer-free, but they are on a long regimen of precautionary chemo pill treatments um, to prevent any return of disease. Pray for those battling Parkinson's, among them Marsha's mother-in-law Vivian, Carmen's dad Russ, my mother-in-law Beulah, uh, who has progressive supranuclear palsy in addition to the Parkinson's disease. My dad uh, needs continued prayers in his struggle with Parkinson's, Kristen's friend Matt, Tim Workman, all of these needing healing of this disease. I pray for Dave and Oscar with kidney issues. Pray for those with chronic stomach problems. I lift up the children today who need our continued prayers. These include Elliot, Darla's granddaughter, Tammy's granddaughter, uh, Emily, Bailey Mae, Baby G, Lorelei, Jenna, Tucker, Abram, Abel, Tano, Brantley, Elsie, Gus's grandson, and Abby Young. We're believing for continued recovery for Anthony Sippard, recovering remarkably from stroke. It's been a long road for him. I just read a post this morning uh, from his wife, Kim, 
and uh, I believe she was reporting that today uh, is uh, one year since he had the stroke and uh, she provided a lengthy testimony of just exactly what God has done for him and how remarkable um, this miracle has been. So we have a great hope today for all these others who have suffered stroke. Wayne, Buddy, Billy Huey, Kelly, Joey, uh, Dwayne, and Deidre, who have all suffered stroke um, as well. And uh, for different people, the recovery process is different, but just because it's slow does not mean that God is not moving. And so let's continue to believe for each of these that they will experience the same kind of recovery that Anthony has uh, and uh, believe for Anthony as well that he will continue to progress on back to full health. Sarah Seaball and Sharon Burks are recovering from hip surgery. Uh, continue praying for Jasmine and Arlo um, recovering from um, surgery and long-term hospitalizations. Rose Brown uh, needs to be able to work after having surgery recently. Nelda Rutledge continues to recover from multiple stab wound injuries. Pastor Christopher Dew is continuing his recovery, <clears throat> excuse me, from Guillain-Barre syndrome. And we're believing for Brother David Kent to recover fully from the paralysis he suffered after an accident uh, falling on the ice last December. Uh, continue to pray for those who suffer with back pain. We know that what God did for those in the service yesterday, he can do for anyone. Our God is able uh, to do exceeding abundantly above all that you would ask or think today, according to the power that works in us. Uh, Debbie Biddick is having trouble with her left hip and some tingling in her foot. Marsha and Patty both having back and hip pain. Uh, also, uh, we want to pray for those with upcoming surgeries. Paul Swinney having surgery next week, a seven-hour surgery, very, very complex. Lois Link um, needing surgery on her back, and they are considering that at this point. Terry Nelson's older sister, Cindy, uh, having back surgery to remove her crushed disc and bone spurs. Let's continue to pray for her as she prepares for this. Uh, those who are in need of pain relief and those going through physical therapy need our continued prayers uh, as well as those battling arthritis pain and mobility issues. And we're praying for many others with health needs today, including Cheryl Lachance's uncle, uh, Tim Davidson, who's been sick for several days and uh, unable to be in church services on Wednesday or Sunday this week, which is not like him at all. Uh, he's really been uh, struggling with his health this past week. Marshall Link, let's keep praying for healing for him. After this illness, uh, he uh, contracted while traveling overseas doing missionary work. Pray for James, who's been hospitalized recently with a stroke. Christina Fowler with possible stroke and with lupus. Uh, she has a doctor's appointment on December the 1st uh, to find out what her health status is. Randy Reeves is recovering from brain trauma. Eva Pennington has a doctor's appointment uh, day after tomorrow to follow up on colonoscopy results. We're believing for results to be much better than expected. Pat Wells' son, Robbie, has extreme blood clots and traumatic brain injury uh, that are concerns for him. Bob Perkins dealing with glaucoma. Eddie Potts needing surgery on his shoulder and currently being treated for an open hip wound. Jamie Joe's cousin, Maisie, uh, has a brain tumor. Let's remember that need. And also in need of healing, Kristen's friend, Ann. Meredith, Judy Cookson's granddaughter and great-granddaughter, Robin Tibbs, Cheryl Ogden, Sheila Sadler, Shirley Perkins, Jessica O'Hara, Janet, Judy Williams' brother, George Tibbs, Doug Seaball, Michelle Clark, and Devin Huff. We need to lift up those who are in nursing homes, praying for their encouragement and that they'll receive the compassionate and competent care that they need. Pray for our military personnel and their families, um, pray for peace in Israel and into the war there and in Ukraine as well. And lift up our missionaries in Ukraine and in the Middle East. Uh, many of them, I do not know their names or where they're exactly stationed, but we do know the Tamias and Pattersons are in this area of war in 
uh, Ukraine and need prayers for protection today. Uh, continue to pray for Josh and Alina Tingley as they are on their way to Haiti, uh, a country that is completely controlled by gangs with no central government uh, operating with any kind of authority there. Pray for the Haitian family in Germany. They are missionaries to our military families, and uh, we want to pray that they will uh, continue to have a great impact on the lives of our soldiers and their families. Uh, we need to pray for uh, our new work in Arcadia, Missouri, our North American missionaries there, the Stevens family, our Metro missionaries in Washington, D.C., the West family. Uh, saw a little video clip from their service yesterday, and they are just uh, having tremendous revival there in our nation's capital. The Richmonds in Detroit Metro raising up several works there. Let's continue to believe for them. And let's be praying toward our Christmas for Christ campaign uh, that is now getting into full swing. We'll be having our Christmas for Christ service um, on December the 17th on that Sunday. And we're praying that God would just bless and give us the ability to give more this year than we ever have. And this is for the cause of starting new works uh, right here in Missouri and all across North America. Uh, spiritual and family needs we need to pray for. And now, of course, we need to continue praying for uh, persecuted believers in access challenged nations. And then many spiritual and family needs uh, on our list today, including our Mingo Job Corps students and alumni. Uh, remember Landon Cummins in prayer, a young man from our church who was just enrolled in the Job Corps program here in Puxico and has a start date of next Monday after the Thanksgiving holiday. He'll be going through the heavy equipment program, and it's estimated that he'll be there for a year. And we know that God can do great things, uh, not only in his life, but through him while he's there. And uh, we're just praying that this would be an open door for us, uh, someone on the inside that will be able to get other students uh, coming back to church. Uh, Brandon needs our prayers. His marriage has been on the verge of ending. Jeffrey needs reconciliation in his family. His wife needs healing. Shirley has been battling uh, suicidal thoughts. Jenny Perkins' sister Lisa is very withdrawn mentally, emotionally, and spiritually in need of miracles. Praying for destiny and her relationship with God. Annette, Dave, Marsha's friend Ashley, and Marsha's friend Linda. Zach Osgood, Terry Month needing salvation. Carmen's friend David needs to return to God. We're praying for those who are battling addictions. And we're continuing to pray for the following families, the Marlins, the Clarks, the Moores, the Williams, the Pulliams, the Robins, the Sappingtons, and Debbie Biddick's family. We're continuing to pray for Mark Perkins' son, Matt and Mark, and their families, uh, lifting up Judy Johnson's grandson and Beulah Ziegler's granddaughter, Jennifer and Brenda's family, J.R. Johnson, uh, Cheryl Chance's family, as she's believing for them and also for some friends to return to God and be saved. We're also praying for our Mingo RCF residents and believing for revival in every community, praying for prodigals to return uh, to the fold today as well. Our God is great and he is greatly to be praised. And I'm thankful today that not only do we uh, lift up our needs to the Lord, but we get to enter into his presence uh, through this time of worship as well. And that will make all the difference for our day and for our week. Good morning to you, Johnny, uh, Dad, Kristen, Terry, Sherman, Pam, um, Judy, Ben, Beth. Great team praying with us again this morning. Thank God for you. Rebecca's down with a stomach bug. Johnny's reporting. Uh, Cheney's dealing with uh, problems with his teeth. A good morning to you, Carmen, as well. Good to have you with us always for morning prayer. If you have a need this morning, anyone, go ahead and post that. And as our team sees it, they will be uh, covering your need in prayer along with uh, all these other needs this morning uh, as well. Good morning to you, Kristen. We've got people still signing on here. So thankful for each of you. Psalm 118, uh, reading verses 1 through 14 this morning. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, 
because his mercy endureth forever. Let Israel now say that his mercy endureth forever. Let the house of Aaron now say that his mercy endureth forever. Let now them that fear the Lord say that his mercy endureth forever. I called upon the Lord in distress. The Lord answered me and set me in a large place. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? That's a verse that I quote very, very often. The Lord taketh my part with them that help me. Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. So he even adds a, a layer to this and says, um, it's not good to place your confidence in man and it's not good to place your confidence in people who seem to have tremendous influence. It's always best to trust in the Lord. All nations can pass me about, he says in verse 10, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. They can pass me about, yea, they can pass me about, but in the name of the Lord I will destroy them. They can pass me about like bees. They are quenched as the fire of thorns. For in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. Thou hast thrust sore at me that I might fall, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and song, and it is, and is become my salvation. Uh, this is, you know, remembering that the Psalms are songs. And as a songwriter, I think what a great hook this song must have had. Uh, you can notice in the part of the of the song that's repeated over and over again at the beginning. It's the it's what draws you in, and I'm sure if we knew the tune to this song, uh, it would be rattling around in our head uh, all day long today because it it seems like this song just had one of those uh, strong hooks that will pull in um, the listener and have you repeating those words all day. It also has a bridge in it um, where he's talking about that in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. In the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. And so I just enjoyed reading that psalm and imagining uh, what the actual tune to it uh, must have been. A timeless song that um, is still running through my mind today after the countless times that I have read it. Um, and it's such a powerful message to us today. You know, every situation that we will face will look different when we know that God's love does not end, when we know that he is good, and when we keep that going over in our mind as we're facing our daily challenges. So keep these words in your mind today. And as verse 9 and 10 uh, admonishes us um, to not put our confidence in man, examine your heart today and make sure that uh, there's no area of your life that you're trusting in man or trusting in the influence of others instead of placing your trust in the Lord. He is good. His mercy endureth forever. And we can trust in him today that based on his goodness alone, that we can have an answer to the things that we seek help in today. So trust in him. It's better to trust in him always than in earthly resources or in um, the confidence of man. Amen. Lord, we thank you today. You are good. Your mercy does endure forever. And that knowledge today gives me strength to face whatever this day might bring. Lord, I just thank you for this prayer team today that's helping me to lift up your name, entering into your gates with thanksgiving, and into your courts with praise. Oh, we come to bless your name this morning. Hallelujah. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise and thanks today for your goodness, for your mercy, and it, knowing that uh, it endures forever, from everlasting to everlasting. You are the almighty God. There is none that compares to you, and we have your favor today. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for the healings that we received this weekend in our church service. We thank you for the encouragement. We thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in each of our lives today. And we know that as we pray, we can believe for your will to be done in earth as it is in heaven because you specifically told us to pray in that way. 
and you're going to honor your word today. Hallelujah. Reach down right now, God, and move in these needs. You see those who are needed for comfort and strength today. Tristan's family mourning their loss of Aunt Jean. God, we pray you would just comfort and strengthen each one in that family today. Move in these unspoken needs today. Lord, move for those who are battling diabetes. Jimmy and Cheryl and Brother Pulliam, Christian and Titus, Cindy, Lloyd, Tim, Steve, Anthony, Michael, Emily, Evie, Rose, Becca, J.R., Natalie, Lola, Grady, Holly, myself, Lord, we all need your touch today. We believe for healing of heart issues for Robin and for Jenny's dad, for Doyle and Holly, for Amy and Cheryl, for Brother Morris, for Kelly B., and for Janie's nephew, Blaine, for Kenny Prinzel and Mike Sappington, for Joyce Fisk and Sister Patty Arnold. We lift up David Duggar, Bud Taylor, Don and Betty Cossey, Jimmy Warren, Michelle Strain's mother. We're believing for each of them today, Lord, to receive their miracle. We lift up those battling with liver issues, those struggling with MS, Sarah and Marty, Riley and Tracy, move in their needs, God, and in their situations daily, Lord, that uh, they struggle with uh, because of MS. <clears throat> we pray, Lord, for those suffering with dementia this morning. Hallelujah. We pray for Tom, Lord, that you would touch his mind today. Touch those that are dealing with migraines and shingles and lung issues today. Kendra and Robbie and Gary Lee and Carolyn need your touch right now. Those that we've mentioned who are battling cancer today. Lord, you are the miracle worker. Hallelujah. With your stripes, we are healed. Anything that you've ever done, Lord, you're still able to do. And there is nothing that is impossible when we believe in your name. Hallelujah. We put our confidence in you today. We believe for these miracles. We believe for those going through precautionary treatments, uh, that their bodies will not react adversely to those treatments. Uh, hallelujah. We pray, God, for those battling Parkinson's, those with kidney issues and stomach problems today. Hallelujah. Those that are dealing with chronic stomach issues, Wanda, Sandra, Michael, Olivia, Natalie, Aubrey, Savannah, Amber, Star, and Heather, Touch them right now, we pray, God. Hallelujah. We believe for the children today that we've mentioned on this list. Pray, God, that you would work a miracle in their bodies, that you would uh, bring them through these waters of affliction as a testimony of your power. Hallelujah. We believe you for continued recovery for each of these who have suffered stroke and major injuries and major surgeries that have set them back, those battling rare diseases today. We give you praise right now, Lord, for Anthony's miracle, that he's even alive today, much less that he has the function that he has. God, we give you the praise, and we believe for completion of the work. On this one-year anniversary of this terrible event in his life, we give you praise that he has recovered almost back to full health. Hallelujah. Each one of these, God, we trust you for their healing. Those with back pain today, we believe for more testimonies of, of instant healing through our prayers. Hallelujah. We pray, God, for Patty and Marcia, that they would have relief of this back and hip pain, not only of the symptoms, but of whatever the source is, whatever is out of alignment, whatever inflammation might be causing the pain. We come against it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We believe for Debbie Biddick's healing today of her hip and her foot. We believe for those having upcoming surgeries of uh, uh, Paul Swinney, Lois Link, Terry's sister Cindy. Move for them, we pray. Guide the surgeons in Jesus' name. We pray, God, for relief of pain for Ann Harvin, for Diane, for Judy Cookson, for those dealing with arthritis pain, Rose and June, and Sister Judy's mom. Those with mobility problems, uh, we believe for Renee and Sammy, Sheila and Chris. Uh, that they will be completely healed. Lord, these other health needs today, we just lay at your feet. Hallelujah. We're believing for Tim Davidson, for Cheryl's uncle, for Marshall, James, Christina, Randy, Eva, Robbie, Bob Perkins, Eddie Potts, Maisie, Kristen's friend Ann, Meredith, Robin Tibbs, Judy's, uh, Judy Cookson's granddaughter and great-granddaughter, Sheila Sadler, Cheryl Ogden, Shirley Perkins, Jessica, Janet, Judy's brother, George Tibbs, Doug Seaball, Devin Huff, 
and Michelle Clark, whatever the need is today, God, you are able to provide. And we trust in your divine provision today. Hallelujah. Be with those who are in nursing homes and long-term care facilities today. Strengthen them. Encourage them. We pray they would receive quality care today, compassionate care. Hallelujah. Bless the staff that cares for these today. We pray against burnout for them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, those who work in our local residential care, God, strengthen them today. Move in their lives, we pray. Hallelujah. We pray for our military personnel and their families. Strengthen them today. Protect them. We believe for peace in Israel. We believe for peace in Ukraine. We believe, God, for protection for our missionaries in and around these nations. We believe, God, for the new works that are being raised up here in North America. God, that you will continue to supply the needs. We thank you for Christmas for Christ funding that's helping these missionaries and now helping daughter works and helping preaching points to get started. We pray your blessing, Lord, upon every pastor that's stepping out by faith to plant a new work. Hallelujah, hallelujah, have your way, God. Direct us today. Bless the Stevens family in Arcadia. Bless our missionaries in, in Metro uh, Detroit and in Washington, D.C. today. Bless our global missionaries everywhere that they're stationed around the globe. Open doors for them. We pray for Iceland today for those that have been evacuated due to this volcano. God, we pray, Lord, for uh, the sparing of life and of property in that situation. We pray, Lord, that you would move in the spiritual needs, the family needs that we've mentioned off this list today. God, there's so many that are away from you, so many whose faith is being tried by fire today. We know, God, that they're going to come forth as gold. We know, God, that your spirit is making intercession for us today, and we're going to be victorious. Hallelujah. Have your way, God. Have your way in every need today, in every family. Uh, we pray for prodigals. We pray for those who are battling addictions, those who are battling circumstances that would prevent them uh, from making their way uh, to you today. God, we believe, Lord, that you're going to provide and you're going to open doors. Uh, hallelujah. That you're going to touch people's minds today that are battling mentally, emotionally, and spiritually today, that they're going to receive their deliverance. Uh, hallelujah. Have your way, God, in every home in every special need today, everyone that's battling depression, hallelujah, those that are uh, battling uh, mental illness, uh, especially in these holiday seasons, God, we pray, Lord, that those that are struggling right now would have relief and strength that comes from you. Lord, you've not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind that we thank you, God. Oh, hallelujah, in your presence today, God, our minds are affected in a positive way, Lord, just by being in your presence. And we give you praise and glory for peace that passes all understanding. Hallelujah. We thank you. We praise you. We worship you. We thank you for revival, Lord, in our cities. You're working, God. We thank you. We thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We pray, God, for Carmen's relative that's needing a place to rent. God, we pray you would meet this need quickly. In Jesus' name, Jesus' name, we pray for Rebecca and Cheney today. Touch them, Lord. They need healing in their bodies right now. Hallelujah. Move in every situation, and we'll give you the praise and the glory, for it all belongs to you. You're the only one that's worthy of our offering of praise today and of our dependence, Lord. We thank you. We glorify you. Amen. God bless you, prayer team. Great prayer session. Uh, join me again tomorrow morning if you can for live prayer and devotion. If you cannot be here at that time, the videos are available to you on YouTube and on Facebook. Uh, just look for them throughout the day and take time to share the videos with someone who will be blessed by your prayers and blessed by uh, the ministry that we're receiving from the book of Psalms. God bless you in Jesus' name. I'll see you tomorrow morning, Lord willing, at 730 a.m.